Mama yangu, bibi yangu aliniacha kule Karen na mukaniambia pole. Asante sana. Thank you. Thank you very much Asante ni. Ah uh, Rais wetu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Dr. William Ruto, baba wetu maaskofu wetu, viongozi wale wamefika hapa, wa Kristo wa hapa Kitui, waitu Moyaseo. Moyaseo ingi. Mungu ni mwema. Na kila wakati Nisalimeni kwa hewa Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Mheshimiwa Rais, yetu ni kushukuru hawa wa Kristo kwa kutualika hapa kwa ibada ya shukurani. Tukija hapa Kitui tangu tulimaliza mambo ya uchaguzi. Na tunataka tuchukue nafasi hii kwa wakaaji wa Kitui. Tuseme Rais William Ruto na sisi zote tuko na shukurani kwa zile kura mlitupatia asante sana hata kama haikufika pahali tungetaka at least mlituongezea ile ya 2017 na tunaona tunasonga tunasonga na kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana rais wetu ametuagiza ya kwamba tufanye kazi na tusaidie kila mkenya na yeye ni rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya yeye si rais wa wale walimpigia kura mingi. Yeye anaunganisha wakenya wote watafanyiwa kazi bila ubaguzi. Na ndio mimi nimekuwa na mkutano na magavana wenu na makaunti commissioner wote na tumekubaliana jinsi ya kufanya kazi. Na mheshimiwa rais tumepanga kesho Jumatatu na Jumanne hapa katika kaunti zetu tatu za ukambani wataweza kupata chakula ya kusaidia wale ambao wako na jambo. Yetu ni kuomba magavana wetu na makaunti commissioner na viongozi washirikiane wasimamie hiyo chakula ipeanwe na njia ya uwazi isikuje kupata miguu na kwenda kando. Ifikie kila mtu. Na kwa hivyo tuna matumaini ya kwamba hata hapo mbele tutaongeza chakula tukiendelea kuomba Mwenyezi Mungu atupatie mvua ndio hali hii ya kiangazi iendelee kwenda chini kidogo pia mheshimiwa rais ningetaka kukujulisha ya kwamba tumefanya mipango kabambe mambo ya usalama kwa zile shida zimekuwa hapa inaangaliwa vizuri na maofisa wako kwa ground na kazi inaendelea na ni matumaini yetu ya kwamba kile kisa kilitokea hatutakuwa na marudio ya hiyo maneno. Nimeona mheshimiwa na gavana mnatetea watu wetu wa UDA. Sisi tunajua kuchunga watu wetu. Lakini vile ninaona pia gavana unatetea hawa watu wasaidie serikali kuu hata wewe kwa county tuchukulie wengine utusaidie ndio tusonge pamoja. Si yuko namna hiyo? Si hata gavana atusaidie? Yeah. Na huyu gavana ni mungwana. Tulitaka akuje pande yetu lakini siasa hapa ikamchanganya kidogo. <laughs> gavana wa Vinyandeti sisi hatuna shida na mheshimiwa Kalonzo. Tunamngoja. Nyinyi ndio mtaamua what you want with him. Because we don't understand him. We don't. Ukweli ni kwamba tulimtafuta Tukimtafuta akuje kwetu anarudi kwa ile mzee akusimia. Hata siku ameaibishwa. Sisi ndio tulikuwa tunamtetea. Mlisikia nikimtetea? Anaitwa interview. Anaulizwa ati jina yako ni nani? Leta kitabulisho. Bibi yako anaitwa nani? Ulibatishwa mwaka gani? Kwako ni wapi? Akaangaishwa aka lakini yatoki huko. Sasa atuelewi. Si William Ruto ndio rais wa Kenya? Sasa atuelewi kwa nini anachanganyikiwa. So governor wa Vinya it is up to you. Since we have no problem with the Kalonzo Musyoka. But we don't understand him at all. Ile ameaibishwa ile alioneshwa akaambiwa ya kwamba ati yeye hawezi kula yule dada ya kwetu ya kula. Dada yetu alileta kula yote. 
Sinikalonzo alilete? Na gari yako pale. We don't understand it. We don't. Lakini sisi tunamheshimu, tunampenda. Na hatuna shida na ye. But it is you viongozi ya ukabani mkae na ye, you guide him. So because how what ya ukabani ni watu wazuri. They cannot remain in opposition permanently. It is it's not right. Because nyinyi mnahitaji serikali. Huyu rais wetu kwa sababu mimi ni Mkristo lazima nimwambie ukweli. Ama nisimwambie? Mimi karibu tuko sana na yeye juu yenu. Sasa anagawa serikali, akukura hapa ni kidogo, amepatia foreign affairs. Amechukua, amepatia penina. Amechukua, amepatia. Nikamuuliza, "Hii watu na hakuna kura walete? Bora unapatia kila kitu." Sasa akaniambia, "Hii wakamba wananipenda." Lakini <laughs> viongozi wao ndio wanapoteza hao njia na mimi nitakaa na hiyo kamba mpaka wanipende sasa sasa bosi yako akisema namna hiyo si hata wewe nakubali hata mimi nimependa nyinyi sasa lakini tafadhali tafadhali viongozi ya makambani please we beg you this area has serious problems ya maji ya kila kitu these are not people who have any business in opposition. These people should, must be in government. Kwa hivyo nyinyi wa vinya, malobe na wengine, kama Stephen amepotea pale kwa hile muzea ya kuzimia, nyinyi munatosha kuchukua wakamba mudete dani ya serikali. You can do it. Ama, wakamba munataka kuigia dani ya serikali? Ama munataka kuzimia kule? Hapa muzimie tu. Mnataka kuja ndani ya serikali? Yeah. And you know I don't understand. It is clear William Ruto is the president of Kenya. So what choice is there for Kalonzo? This is government in any opposition. The choice is as clear as day from night. So we don't understand. Juzi amekuja pale, mashujadi tukafikiria amerudi. Jana tumemwona tena amerudi home abe. We don't understand. <laughs> we are lost. <laughs> so, nyinyi viongozi ya kanisa mtatuambia what to do. We are ready, we are ready for Kalonzo, we are ready for Ukambani, but we don't understand your leader anymore. Mwishoe. <laughs> si uchaguzi umeisha? Si tufanye kazi pamoja? Tufanye kazi na huyu gavana, si ndio? Na hao waheshimiwa. Makao Mulu umesema vizuri. You provide opposition. Keep us in check and we are happy. Tumefika pahali tuko. Because yuyo mzee ya kuzimia aliwacha kazi yake ya kuinzani, haka ingia kwa serikali. Tuka kwama. You oversight us and we are ready. Any day. Lakini zile shida ililetu na yuyo mzee, yuyo mstuulize. Mutuulize maneno yetu. Mutuulize maneno yetu. Yuyo tutajibu. Pahali tumeanzia ya hii siku 34 na 4. That you can hold us to account. But hile lefanyika the five years, you cannot ask us. Because wewe na hawa diyo mdideta hiyo shida. So you cannot ask us that problem. Ningetaka ya mwisho niseme, tumeambia officers wetu, wafanya kazi na viongozi na tumekubaliana. But wakati wa hiyo siyasambaya, kuna machifu wali umizwa. Senior chief wetu pale wa kisovo, Ati bibi yake alipatikana na t-shirt ya UDA akasimamishwa kazi. Sasa hiyo ni mambo gani? It is wrong. So where is your commissioner huyo chief arudi kazi? Because hakuna makosa amefanya. Sasa bibi yako akivaa t-shirt ya UDA wewe unaweza ulizwa? Kuna mtu anaweza uliza wewe ile nguo bibi yako anavaa? Si hiyo ni mambo ya mama. Let us also be fair to people. Let us not punish people for things that should not happen. How do you punish a chief because of their political activities of his wife? Na kila mtu Kenya ako huru kufanya vile anataka. So wacha tuendelee tukisaisha hiyo maneno hata nyinyi regional commissioner mjue siasa imeisha. So the wrongs that were done wakati ya siasa tusaishe ndio we make progress ndio. Ningetaka niwajulishe viongozi wenu. Na nyinyi mmefaidika. Mume Nimemwambia mimi nilikuwa na shida lakini mkubwa yangu akaniambia nimwachie he knows what he is doing na nikakubali. Tuko na Minister wa Foreign Affairs, Alfred Mutua. Pigie niye makofi. Sasa, uso ya ukambani, the whole of Kenya, mukopale. 
hata kama kula ilikuwa kidogo lakini ni sawa si ndio tuko na security national security advisor huyu Monica Juma na ni wenu huyu anaitwa Kadhena si ni wenu ya mwezi sema si wenu Kadhena si ni wenu eh haya tuko na Penina Malonza huyu si William Ruto ameangalia nyinyi haja angalia nyinyi tuko na chairman wa UDA chama cha kitaifa Senator Johnson Mudhama Asa hii chama ni yenu serikali ni yenu sasa muamue vile mtakaa hapo mbele pale mbele si mtapanga you love to see but this situation is not right the people of Kambani cannot be led into opposition forever they need also to be in government lakini president wetu amemuleta ndani so that na nyinyi mfurute wale wengine and it's up to you also mkiona viongozi wanapotea you tell them no pale kwetu mlima Kenya kiongozi alikuwa anataka kutupeleka kwa kuzimia tukamwambia bwana tutaenda kwa idi ya mlito tulienda hata kuenda it's also your time to liberate yourself from negative politics mkiona kiongozi anapeleka nyinyi mstuni mnapinduka mnaenda kwa hali iko na asali kwa hayo mengi ningetaka nichukue nafasi hii Nimuuliza tusimame kwa heshima tumkaribishe rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya Kenya, mweshimiwa William Samoe Ruto.